Let's see. War, famine, disaster, disaster, disaster. Ah, second panda born in captivity. Hey, remember a few years ago when that little boy fell through the guardrail at the Miami Metro Zoo and hit his head? And a female gorilla scooped him up and rocked him until medical help arrived. Mocking my efforts to get pregnant is one thing, but comparing me to Coco the gorilla? Relax, Lizzie. You're just a sister. I never got to torture. We're not family, Christian. We're not even the same subspecies. Neither were Coco and that little boy, but look at them. You don't have to give birth to a child in order to love it. Look, I understand how you must be feeling after losing Wilbur, but this is different. I've always wanted to feel life growing inside me. Then why did you wait until it became a risk for both of you? My father hadn't died yet. When he found out I was gay, he told my mother, at least there won't be any kids. Jesus, I'm surprised you didn't get knocked up right away just to show him. That's why I waited. I didn't want to have this baby out of spite. This baby and I, we're going to be a family. We're going to love each other no matter what. Look, that clinic, if they give you any more trouble. I mean, if you're looking for an alternate source, hey, I got way more than I'll ever be able to use. I'm confused. We maybe have one civil interaction every other leap year. And now you're offering me your sperm? See where the toilet. Okay, this conversation should have ended at Coco. Seriously. It's a great feeling. Being a parent. I wouldn't want you to miss out on that. I have to think about it. We're talking turkey baster, right? Oh, I'm sure in hell not sleeping with you. Am I interrupting something? Yes. I'm about to have an aneurysm. Christian is offering me his sperm. 